jammed up against the outside running rail to watch this start. And they're set to go. Even money now, pure devotion. She's eased back out now into black figures once again. The light is blinking. And the starter let them go, and they're racing in the scale cup. And the first to go, Woodguard Loki and Marachino together. Black Shadow was away very well, and Nerf Bosk is up there as All Man drives forward. Chili is hot, will settle down on the inside just in front of Come Right Back. Then came the Mayor Lady Chant. True Attraction, Stafford's Lad trails it. Back on the inside next of all is Pure Devotion going over by Beckett's Gate there for Pike. Third from last is Platoon. And getting back, he's a Parker towards the tail end, Divine Shadow. They work along the Matheson Road side of the Ascot course and Marachino in control. Makes play here. The reigning winner of this race 12 months ago, Marachino by a length and a half. Running second, Black Shadow. Utgard Loki down on the inside, running third. The Grey Nerf Bosk is fourth. Three quarters of a length away. Then came Chili is Hot. A length off them came All Man. Two lengths, Lady Chant being shaded by Come Right back a length and a half away pure devotion the tempo goes up a level now as they head out to the river over on the outside of the favorite true attraction allowed to go forward stafford's lad trails it back on the rails then came platoon a length away he's a parker and last of all divine shadow in this order behind marachino they hit in the scale cup 900 meters to go marachino calling the shots led by one black shadow no change at all to the order the tempo's been really steady on the inside is Utgard Loki followed around them by All Man going up to sit on the outside of Nerf Bosk. They're followed by Chili is Hot. Three quarters come right back behind those Lady Chant. Now Pike's coming away from the fence. Here's the favourite Pure Devotion. He was able to get off the sticks at the 500 metre mark. Stafford's Lad followed further back coming to the turn. True Attraction gone. In behind them Divine Shadow Platoon and he's a Parker. Homeward bound Marachino led them. It's Marachino from Nerf Bosk who'd run to second. The favourite it's got a mountain of work to do. Still about seven lengths behind them. Can't win. Marachino can. It kicks. Marachino's the leader. Nerf Bosk keeps coming. Marachino. Will he go back to back? He's holding Nerf Bosk. He does it. Marachino's won it. Marachino won from Nerf Bosk. Chile is hot third. Probably. From come right back, pure devotion, never got warm. In behind them, Lady Chan, Black Shadow, Stafford's Lad. Then came Woodguard Loki, a gap, Divine Shadow, and All Man. He's a Parker. Well back, Platoon, and True Attraction, beaten well before the turn, is the last of them in. Well, Marachino with the railway winning jockey, Troy Turner, in the saddle, and the only horse out of the railway into the scale cup wins Marachino and wins this race back to back. Lou Luciani the trainer one Marachino leads all the way from the grey nerf boss and look at the margin back to third it'll be Chile is hot and nothing for the favourite Pure Devotion never got into it at any stage. No, you can see Willie Pike desperately trying to get away from the fence but as soon as she did she was also under pressure immediately and not responding a race that was dominated up on speed and Look, as we said in the preview, it looked as though the alternate form reference was the danger to pure devotion, and that's the way it's turned out because those first three across the line, Marachino, Nerf, Bosk, and Chili is hot. None of those were coming through the lucky grey stakes. Yep, uh, complete domination. He just got a beautiful, beautiful run in front. Gee, it's hard to beat these horses that can put themselves on the speed and kick like that, and uh, he was always in control there. Indication he's back on track, this Nerf, Bosk, for a Perth Cup, and... Geez, you have to mark the favourite, even though he was probably wasn't suited by the tempo. It was very disappointing, as he did not run through the line there at all. Well, he won a COVID Perth Cup back in January 2021. Nerf Bosk, the grey. And he is on track. But Marachino, Troy Turner and Lou Luciani, he's on his way down to have a chat to uh, Britt, the winning trainer. Marachino winning the Northern Cup and then running 11th of 16 in the railway, beaten five and a quarter lengths behind Tricks of the Trade. Tricks of the Trade was ridden by Troy Turner that day. Today he jumps on to the winner, Marachino. Here's the happy trainer, Louis. Lou Luciani, congratulations to you. Marachino wins the Skayhill Cup. What a performance! You just love this horse, don't you? Oh yeah, that is a, we love him all, but he's just a, he's a bit special, and he's as we keep saying, he's Trish's, Trish's little boy. But uh, I'm sorry, the 
to disappoint the crowd that it wasn't so they weren't cheering Willie home but we didn't really give a bugger about Willie today we were worried about our horse and uh, I, I think there was a few cheering him as well so it was nice what were you thinking when he was rolling out in front in a really nice rhythm did you think he was going to be hard to run down today yeah Troy understands him well and knows him well and you know I'd, we were always going to be there. It was a case of whether you could carry the weight and how strong the wind was and all that. But there was another little little thing which I think went totally unnoticed today with the horse. This is the fourth time that he's backed up week to week and it's the fourth time he's won. So clearly he absolutely loves the backup. And is that something you see from him behind the scenes as well? Because obviously last week he was in the Group 1 Railway Stakes. Do you see a horse that just bounces out of the run at home? Oh, look, he, he certainly bounces out of it. What really drove us mad is it took us 40 minutes to catch him today, so um, I had to leave with my other horses because Trish was still there trying to catch him. Is so he in, in a paddock sort of environment? Oh, yeah, yeah he, one day he'll walk up to you, the next day he'll just tell you you've got to work for it. So, so 40 minutes. I actually rung the stewards and said I'd be 10 minutes late with my other runners, and Trish was still there trying to catch him. That is quite remarkable, and then... Got mud all over the back of her legs from being out in the paddock trying to catch him. <laughs> She'd be cursing him at that point, and now she absolutely loves him now. We're abusing the hell out of him, yeah. Oh, but that's that is unbelievable. Congratulations to you, Lou. Thank you. We might get a word from Trish as well. Trish, Lou was just telling us about you trying to catch him <laughs> in the paddock. Tell us more. Well, I was dressed to come to the races. I had to put sand shoes on I've gone down stood in the paddock for like 40 minutes trying to catch him I had black legs I was just like Lou had to hook up the float he, he took off with the other horses and I had to bring him up here on my own I'm just going just scratch him like this is a waste of time and he does this it's just amazing like I, honestly he is amazing tears when you come into the mounting yard to lead him in why does this horse mean so much to you I bred him I, his mum, as you know the story, she was a blind orphan. Um, she won a race for me before she went blind. Um, she went, got sent away. I saw Machino at Elwyn Park, bless John Andrews, because he foaled the horse down and several of my other foals. Um, and I produced Marachino, and it's just a dream. Like an absolute dream. I would just want to thank all the girls at the, and, and Jimmy as well at the track at Bunbury. Um, we don't have a training track. What Lou does with these horses to get them here without actually having an official track to work on, where Ross Price, thank him as well. Um, it, it's just a dream come true. Sharon that straps him tirelessly every time, always makes him look immaculate. And Lou just is doing an amazing job. And my other owners, Paul and Mark Luzzi, um, couldn't do it without them. Congratulations, go and enjoy this. Thank you. Well, they couldn't catch him in the paddock, Maricino, and the opposition couldn't catch him today. Here's the winning jockey, Troy Turner. Well, Troy Turner's had a wonderful week seven days ago. He was able to win a railway stakes on Tricks of the Trade today. It's a, uh, a feature win in the staying trips, and Maricino now becoming, I'm sure, one of your new favourites, Troy. Yeah, the um, horse has been in good, great order. Um, Lou Luciani's done a magnificent job, and the, the owner, Trish Roberts, uh, yeah, just... Um, just keep producing the horse at the right day and um, getting the job done. Very similar ride for you to the Northern Cup, lead throughout and get them rolling into the corner. Yeah, he's quite a tough campaigner now and he um, he really shows his staying ability and just sort of outstays him. So, um, yeah, he's a nice horse to ride. I'm sure immediately a lot of focus goes on to the fact that he's led all the way with 60 and a half, but in other respects, that second horse, Nerf Bosk, five and a half kilos he conceded to a Perth Cup winner. Yeah, that's right, Nerf Bosk. He's... And he's an old campaigner, he's probably starting to get to back to his best form, but um, like you said, to hold him off with that sort of weight, he's done a good job. Andy, seven days, well done. Thank you very much. Ta. Okay, the build-up to the Crown Perth Winterbottom Stakes over 1,200 metres uh, starts right now. Race number eight is our feature race after Marachino wins the Scale Cup from Nerf Boss, Chili is Hot and Black Shadow. Marachino, Nerf Boss, Chili is Hot, Black Shadow the first four and weight is right on the seventh correct weight weight is right well I get the feeling this atmosphere is going to be a beauty when they jump away in the winter bottom I think this crowd and you were telling me Scott that there were more people here for the railway stakes which is the traditional big day for for Perth but I think they've come out to see the class horses because this has become 
Perth's best race. Exactly right. And it's uh, probably next week as well when you get to see Amelia's yep. dual line up against Cascadia and J-Mac will bring a lot of people to yep. the races as well. But in terms of one single race across the entire Pinnacles that brings together the best field of horses, I don't think there's any doubt anymore. It's the winter bottom. And you've got Ronnie uh, Rothfire, Paul Ailey up against the, the might of the West. And we